when you look at the Ediacaran fossils, a lot of them don't look like animals at all. They look a lot more like plants. And there are some types of Ediacaran fossils that we actually call fronds, which isn't a very good name for them since they're not plants. It can be a little bit confusing. But there's a number of reasons why we don't think they're plants. And one of them is that in some parts of the world, the Ediacaran fossils are found in water that we know was very deep, so deep that light from the sun could not penetrate to the bottom of the ocean where these organisms lived. And all plants need sunlight to survive. So, if an organism lives in an environment where light can't reach it, it's not going to be a plant. While some scientists think that the Ediacaran fauna represents animals, other scientists disagree. And there's a number of different competing hypotheses, and there's really no consensus yet. It's still a very active area of research. So they might be animals. Other scientists think that they might be related to fungi. And other scientists think that they might be a completely unrelated experiment in multicellular life that just didn't work out. There's no evidence in any of the Ediacaran animals for anything that you would recognize as a head or a mouth or eyes or even legs. And that's one of the reasons why they're so hard to categorize. And the thing is, is that while most animals have legs and heads and eyes and things like that, not all of them do. Sponges and corals, for example, and jellyfish don't have anything that you would really call a head, but they're definitely still animals.